Ay, ay, ay. We've got wires all over the place. What's going on here? All right, I've got some questions from the people uh, asking on the Coleman Hot Water On Demand video how I've hooked up the relay for a 12-volt pump and the 12-volt system in my shack. Um, truth is, I haven't done it yet, but uh, it's not that hard to do. And the only reason I haven't done it is I haven't needed to. Uh, I'll get out there in the spring. Probably won't be doing too much in the winter out there right now. So let's get to it. This is an automotive relay. You can get these Princess Auto, Harbor Freight, um, any automotive store probably have them for you. You have a couple in your car probably. <laughs> um, on the top of these relays, you're going to see a little bit of a schematic. Um, if you take a reasonable look at that, you'll probably figure it out. Um, on one side, you've got a trigger, and the other side, you've got a source, and generally two outputs. Um, you could use this in different ways, um, or explain it a little differently. So let's say we have a trigger, and we'll call that the Coleman hot water heater. It has a 6-volt battery in it, and you, uh, the little plug. So basically what you would do is you chop off the plug to your dead pump, and leave the plug. So you can plug that in, uh, connect the other two ends to the source pins, or sorry, not the source pins, the trigger pins. Uh, that would be 85 and 86 on this one. And there are numbers corresponding to these two pins, 85 and 86, uh, written on the bottom. So I don't have the Coleman hot water on demand all set up, but I did want to simulate it. So I've got my power supply here at six volts. Um, power is not on and we're just going to connect those two to those outside two trigger pins so when the Coleman hot water heater turns on and I have it off but when I push this button it'll turn the, the power of the six volts on you'll hear the relay click and we'll do that also interesting to note that it's a uh, Relay is drawing 64 milliamps-ish. So the relay is on. Uh, there's a coil that basically flips back and forth. Uh, I have a 12 volt battery here. Well, this will simulate the 12 volts in my shack and we'll call this light here the, uh, the water pump. So right now I've got 12 volts from here and if we look on the back again, we have 30 is our source. And it looks like when things are off, it's switched off to 87A. And when things are on, it's switched off to 87. So if we connect this to 30, which I do believe is the straight one here, power coming from the battery, and this could be positive or negative. You can switch either side, I do believe. Um, you'll have positive, at least in this case, coming through here to one of these two pins. One of them is already switched on. So if we take this positive, I've got the negative of this connected up to the negative of the battery. So we're going to come through the battery, probably the other way around, but no worries there. We'll come through the battery into this pin. We're going to be coming out one of these already right now, even with this off. So we can check out which one that is. It's that one. This one is not. So for the Coleman, when it turns on, I want the 12 volts to turn on. I'm going to want to wire in my heater to this outside pin so that when I turn, we'll try and here, let's put this this way. When I turn on the Coleman, it flips the relay and lets power flow to the 12 volt system. When I turn the Coleman off, power gets cut. If I was to do this the other way around, the pump would always be on, and when I turned on the Coleman, the pump would turn off. So it gives you the choice of which pin you want to use for which switching scenario. So hopefully, if you're able to go out and grab a relay, you'll be able to kind of figure this out from what I've got here. Uh, your Coleman would come to these two outside pins and your 12 volt source would come in and then out one of these two 
the other side would just be connected to the battery directly. So that's that's how you would hook up a relay for the Coleman. Hopefully that's enough to get you going. And uh, if you get any more questions? A relay is an electromechanical switch. It works on an electromagnet. And the way it works is pretty cool. Here's, here's how it goes. You have a little set, an, an arm inside with a contact on the top and the bottom. And this connects off to a wire. And we'll put on the wire, we'll put a battery and we'll put a little light. That's my light. <laughs> and this is the box of our relay. Okay? There's my light. Now, on the other side of the relay is a contact here that comes out. And we'll do another one in black. We have the black contact down here that comes out this side. So we have three electrical connections on the relay. We have the common, we have normally closed, and we have normally open. And I'm going to actually move that a little because in actuality there's a little air gap here. Now, inside there, we have a coil. And the coil is set up on a form, which is usually just a pin. And it sits in a base plate. Okay? So there's your basic ice cube relay. Now, the way this works is on the coil here, we need red. So many colors. If you put across these two wires, say, 12 volts. Um, common things on relays are 12 volts, 24 volts, which is often AC, and uh, 120 volts. Now, if there's no electricity going across this, and our wire is connected on the green terminal, over here. Now, when there's no electricity, this wiper is up and it touches this, so it's normally closed. So in this instance, the light would be on. We apply voltage on here and the magnet pulls the wiper down so it changes from being connected here to being connected down here. So it goes from the normally closed to the normally open, at which point our light would turn off. That also works the other way. If you connect the wire down here to normally open, it works just like any other normally open switch. Without any power applied, connected from the normally open through our little battery light circuit to um, common, with no power applied, the light is off. When you apply power here, the light turns on. Now, this may be kind of dumb. You're like, well, why not just apply power to the light? This is used for things where the power you're applying here might be a 12 volt control circuit, and your light might be a big light in a warehouse that works on 120 volt power or something like that. Um, you can use a small voltage to control a very large voltage, or the other way around. You can use 12 volts to switch 5 volts or things like that. So this relay here is rated for up to 250 volts AC at 10 amps on the contactors. And I don't know if you can zoom in tight enough to see the little contactors on there. Take a look. Um, you can see there's, there's little contactors inside. Actually, I think I could open this right up and you can take a look in. We can, we can break a relay. Let's just pop it right open and share it with the world. Okay. Now if you take a look, here's the coil I was talking about. You, you can see that. The big round thing is the coil. And then here's the contactors on top. And they move. And you can even see it move there. So that's off and that's on. And there's two wires that come out of the coil, and they actually go through a little neon light on this one. Um, so you can tell when power is applied and whatnot. And yeah, that's, that's the basics of it. You use one, a control voltage to handle a, a controlled voltage. And yeah, that's how it works.